Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. And many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white lights. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Okay? Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. Or evil, wicked, and dark plans of the enemies are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have a queen of pentacles here that is not moving forward. Someone has lost their power. They've given their power away. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse has been showing up in a lot of my readings. Someone has absolutely lost control of themselves. This could be a feminine energy that's trying to hold on to something that does not belong to her. Uh, maybe a position, a pen, some pentacles, some, some type of money, some type of inheritance, some type of finance. Something of that nature. This woman is trying to hold on to something that does not belong to her and this is blocking her forward movement. Is that someone's blessing she thinks is hers? She feels entitled to someone else's blessing uh, or bless, blessings, okay? Um, but she's going to have to give it up. She is holding on tight to something that does not belong to her. You see this four, this four of pentacles here? Sister is holding on to this with her life. She said, nope, I'm holding on to it. It's mine. It's in the divine. Is that I know you're lying. You got to do time. You know that it's not yours. I'm telling you. Sister is trying to have people help her steal something that does not belong to her. She has convinced her friends, her families, her frenemies, anyone you can think of, that whatever she's trying to hold on to is hers, is principle. She's doing it based off of principle, but she's going to be disappointed because she cannot keep what does not belong to her. Someone may have either forged some type of letter. She may be blackmailing people. Someone may be on camera. Maybe she was recorded doing something. This could be a guy as well that was recorded doing something. This could be someone's wife that's doing a whole lot behind the scenes to block someone's movement, forward movement. She may be helping her husband, except she works from behind the scenes, something of that nature. These two are facing some type of financial setback because they're overindulged in something that they should not have indulged in. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, is absolutely going through some type of ending. They've been trying to block someone else's forward movement, and this is what's happening. Yeah, it's an end. This woman is going through an ending. And it was inevitable because she was warned many times, right, to do the right thing, to let go. Whatever she's trying to hold on to, whatever scenario, narrative she's trying to further is just not going anywhere. It's a day and she's going through some type of ending and there's nothing she can do to stop it. This is what someone was intending for you to be stuck in some type of financial like, uh, just losing everything. You know, having people turn against you. But this is, it seems like this is what she's about to go through. Okay. And like I said, this Queen of Pentacles has been showing up a lot. Someone was supposed to heal this lifetime. I'm telling you, sister, still trying to hold on. But someone was trying to, someone was supposed to heal this lifetime. Someone was supposed to take charge of their path, their destiny. Do something different and new this lifetime. But she refused to. She's repeating some type of karmic cycle. Right. Um, there could be some type of court case going on. She may be trying to do something to interfere with this court case so that it can go in her favor. She's not, it's not going to go in her favor. Whoever she's going up against is going to win this case. It's you collective. You're going to win this case. You have control of this situation if this is a court case. Um, it could also be that this is just has to do with someone's character. Someone's character is being seen for what it is. This woman could have been slandering someone, defamation, things of that nature, but someone is being seen for who they are. Or she may be trying to put an end to something. Whatever she's trying to do is not going to go in her favor because someone is being seen as greedy. Someone is being seen as a thief. Someone is being seen as entitled, superficial, operating from a lower energy, something of that nature. She should be in this energy, powerful, self-minded, right? Being guided by the universe, in charge of her life, her mind, her body, her in her soul and energy. But she's not. She's, she's in the reverse, okay? Whatever someone has been doing behind the scenes, it is going to be illuminated 
absolutely nothing in the nothing in i'm telling you it's going to be illuminated nothing in the dark stays hidden forever everything in the dark must come out to the light this is how balance is birthed into all situations what you think you're doing in the dark and no one knows it eventually will be illuminated uh this is divine order okay oh divine order okay so whatever sister is doing whether it's a man whatever whatever brother is doing behind the scene whether this is a couple that is in cahoots together to take someone someone down take someone's power away using some type of magic oh yeah <laughs> they're coming for a star seed whatever they're trying to do is not going to happen they're trying to bring some type of ending to a court case they thought it was going to go in their favor, but it's not. It's going in the favor of this star seed. Someone is being seen for who they are. This couple, this queen of pentacles, whoever this is, has been putting in a lot of work behind the scenes. They could have been doing magic, um, trying to control some type of narrative about someone, but it's not happening. This situation is dead. It's a dead end for them. It's a new beginning for you, star seed. Okay? So you got to give it to our karmics. They're always committed. As we say on this platform, it's an A for effort. Okay? So whoever you are, you're moving forward. You could be stepping into some type of collaboration with someone new. Um, there could be something about a marriage going on. Someone may have falsified some type of document saying that you and them are married or you and them made some type of agreement to work together, something of that nature. But you're showing up here in some really powerful energies. You have the magician and the hierophant out here. So you are someone that is extremely powerful. There could be something where maybe you are being seen in the upright because people may have said that you were someone in the reverse. That all any everything around you was dead energy, toxic energy, but you're being seen for who you are. Okay, uh, so you may be taking charge of your life to move forward and bring balance in it. It's a yeah. Hold on, I'm calling the shots in my life. Okay, no one is calling the shots for me. I don't care what you people feel comfortable with. I don't care if you don't understand how I see things, my perspective. I don't care. But I'm taking charge of my life and I get to decide what's going, what is and what's not. Okay? No one is doing anything for me. Okay? Or no one is taking anything from me. This woman does know that you do have the upper hand in this situation, but she's going to try to play dumb. Uh, she's going to try to manipulate you, play around, play a little mind games and things like that. She wants to come off as still being in control because this is someone that struggles with control issues. She may want to meet with you or someone from their camp may want to meet with you to compromise. You know, sometimes karmics will most of the time. When they have the assumption that they have the upper hand, they will go all out. I'm telling you, she's not in control. She's lost it. People are stepping away from this woman. When they feel like they have a little bit of control in a situation, they'll try to take advantage of you. But she's realizing that the power is not in her hand. This woman is going through some type of ending and it's not something she can stop because the time for her to stop whatever she was doing was a long time ago. Like the, the wheel of fortune is moving now. There's no way to stop it. As we know, that wheel is always moving regardless and you have the choice to do what's right or do what's wrong and sister chose to operate from her lower vibrational energy. So balance has to be brought into this situation. This woman is extremely upset. Upset is a understatement for what kind of emotions this woman is going through someone may have like disdain for you like they just hate the, th the thought of you being happy they hate to hear your voice if you are around them even if you they are watching you on social media someone hates to hear your voice they hate to see you happy they hate to know that you're still breathing comfortably someone may have tried to trap you in something but they fail at it because the most high intervened someone wants you to feel disabled in every way shape um and form whether it's using your voice, having a mind of your own, being liked, anything. She wants you to feel disabled. Um, she wants you to feel needy, right? To depend on other people, not knowing what to do. Basically, someone wants you to give your power away, but it does not seem like you're doing that because you're showing up here in the higher fence and the magician energy. That means that you have complete control of your self your mind, body, and soul in the direction of your life. So someone may be absolutely 
heartbroken about that. Someone here could be going through a divorce as well or some type of uh, separation, right? They could have been together for many years. Maybe it's one of those common law marriages and things like that. Maybe they've been faking like their marriage, married, whatever it is. There is some type of separation that's going on here with a queen of pentacles. Maybe the person she's been with is leaving her so they can start all over. Someone is seeing her for who she is. Someone is waking up. Someone is going through some type of awakening that was dealing with this woman. They know that all she cares about is money. So this could very well be a gold digger with the fact that this queen of pentacles is, pentacles is out here in the reverse followed by the four of pentacles. This is someone that could be very superficial and was possibly only with her partner for money. She has caused a lot of mayhem. She may have betrayed this masculine, betrayed her marriage. Whatever it is, is different for each and every one of you. But there is an ending going on. Okay, there is absolutely an ending. Yeah, oh my goodness. We have to turn a source out here. Someone is going through karma. Someone is going through some type of ending, getting a taste of their own medicine. Someone didn't see things clearly. They thought they had everything figured out. They should not have participated in something. This was like the leader of the group. This is just someone very karmic. This is like the head of the cult, the clothing, whatever we want to call it, this toxic group that meets together, things like that. She was the head of that. Um, and she's going through some type of ending in finances, in love, in everything. Anything you can think of, this woman is going through an ending. She didn't see things clearly like she was supposed to. Someone let their emotions get the best of them. Uh, she thought that she had everything figured out, um, that she finally figured out the right plan to take you down. I don't know why someone is so set on taking another person down. It could have a lot to do with finances. There's some money involved in here. And this woman is extremely greedy and she does not want to lose this money, even though the money does not belong to her. So she's doing whatever she has to has to to keep a hold of this money but she won't be able to everything this person is doing is just set to disappoint them all it's going to do is lead to legal issues legalities and it's not going to go in her favor someone is setting herself and her friends to fail it's not going in their favor okay so whatever she's doing at this point is just all because of ego okay She's doing it because of ego. Someone is impulsive. Is that she? I'm telling you, she's done everything to take you down. It hasn't worked. That's because she's doing what she thinks she needs to to block you from coming into some type of abundance. This woman wants to end you in every way, shape, or form. But everything she does is really just securing her ending. Okay, that's all it's doing. You as the star see. You are still intact. Your character is still intact. You're still going to be defending yourself. Someone is upset that you are defending yourself. Someone may be stepping in as well to defend you, right? A higher fan may be stepping in to defend you, something like that. And it's going to cause some type of mayhem because they didn't expect someone to be supporting you. This woman thought she did everything in her power to get people to turn against you, say no one's going to help you. Let's see how you're going to get out of this. And to her surprise, Someone is still willing to help you because they know the betrayal and the malicious maliciousness that you went through with these people, all the mental conflict and things like that that was going on. There's something deceitful that's going on here about a contract. Uh, it could be a will, a deed, something of that nature. There's some type of deceit going on here with that. Um, and it's all going to be reviewed. It's that people have been working uh, tediously, right, together to bring someone an ending. This is why we have the death followed by this five of pentacles. It's like they've been working extremely hard to secure an ending for either you, a family, a whoever, okay? But it's not going in your favor. Someone is a narcissist. Someone is very much of a narcissist. They feel entitled to what belongs to other people. There could be some something about like color, some type of bigotry going on, prejudice going on. Um, someone just does not feel like you deserve what you're supposed to receive and they're doing everything in their power to block that. There's some type of lie that was told and they're doing everything to keep that lie going, but people are already in the, in the know about that. Um, they may be upset about a choice that was made to correct things, to fix all of these illusions that have been taking place, okay? It's absolutely horrendous what these people have done. And the fact that they're walking around thinking that they're still, I'm telling you, you see that? 
the thing that people are still manipulating, they're still manipulating people is really ridiculous, okay? There could be some type of effort to steal something from you legally, but it's not going to work. It's that someone is going to go and pretend to be in the, that, you, that you're the one who wronged them, but it's not going to go in their favor. People are going to see right through them. It's just like someone going to file a case against you. But people are going to see that nothing really makes sense in that case. Filing whatever they're writing down, whatever their uh, uh, um, whatever their statement is, whatever they're accusing you of, is it doesn't make sense, right? This is like you. Let's say you have like a PhD in something and you've mastered your craft. Um, but you may be like a smaller content creator. Let's say on maybe TikTok or something like that. Okay. Um, so you have someone that is in a higher position or something and they have influence. They've been on the platform a little longer. You're new on the platform. They start stealing your material. Um, but they're doing something malicious where it's like they have access to your phone so they can steal your content and post it before you post. So then it makes it look like you are stealing from that person. But really it's this person stealing from you, right? So now they're going to go take you to court to sue you for the very thing that you created not knowing that there's a timestamp for when that content was created. So you have the content in your phone. There's a timestamp on there, right? For your In your phone, you can pull that up, put the details and see when the content was actually created and use that in court, right? As evidence. So I'm just using that as an, as, um, an example. It's something foolish like that. Like someone does not have all of their ducks lined up, but because they're so hateful and malicious and greedy, they are just moving on impulse. Someone is very impulsive. Um, and right now they are in some type of rage, some type of uh, 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 temper tantrum it is that they're, they're throwing out. So they're just doing any and everything because they think that they deserve what belongs to you. It's quite remarkable how this person's mind works. It's quite confusing for me. I'm trying to rationalize her mindset, but it's just all that's coming out is greed and delusion that's all it is and the people that she got to collaborate with her this allows someone to lead them to the slaughterhouse because there will be consequences for what's going on they're not going to be able to steal they may have been some type of plan to rob you uh maybe this is a future thing but it's not going to happen either right it's not going to happen it's like they want to rob you of your peace your character your morals your love Anything that's good, they want to rob you off of it, but it's not going to happen. All that's going to do is, all they're doing is manifesting in this in their own lives. Okay? Yeah, it's a tower. I'm telling you. There's something about like a queen, a, either a king of a king of wands and a star seed are supposed to get together. And people are trying to block this union from coming together. Or maybe a king of wands. Uh, betray you in the past and this person is going through some type of ending as well this is like karma someone is someone either took some type of action to steal from you to end you or betray you and they went through an immediate uh, uh change like some type of immediate karma right ramification for going up against you so if they had some type of contract with you that contract is over this this will be someone from your past Either someone you had a friendship with, someone you had a connection with, a relationship with, something of that nature. They're going through some type of ending. Someone may have lost a job is what I'm hearing as well. But they're going through some type of immediate ending that they didn't, they didn't expect to be happening. Okay, Most of these people are impulsive and they're driven by greed, okay? hatred, animosity, all kinds of stuff. Things that they don't even need to be indulging in superficiality these people are crazy these are like the masters of illusions masters of illusions and people like this the universe will just sit back and let them do what they want to do for a specific amount of time and because they're being allowed to do what they want to do they will develop some type of illusion that they are in control and that they are succeeding only to end up in this situation this predicament okay someone is going through some type of sudden change that is going to be kind of long lasting but it's necessary because this person needs to go through some type of growth they need to heal i keep seeing the five of, five of wands out here you know that's our uh the karmics are fighting on this platform so the karmics definitely could be fighting there's been a lot of exposure going on so something could have been revealed that someone thought 
people did not know. There could be a higher fan out here that's pretending to be holier than thou, going through some type of ending. This could be a masculine that's playing both sides, right? Manipulating people and he's destined to go through some type of ending. Like the truth is going to be seen. This is one of those people that plays, like, plays a, a, a double agent. He's telling this group one thing and then telling you another thing. And in the middle, he's lying to both people. So it's like he's conflicting. He's causing some type of illusion and he does not think it's going to be found out. But as you can see, yes, sir, you will be find out, found out. There is an ending for you, right? People are going to know that this is not someone genuine. This is someone that pretends. Either this is like a pastor, a priest, a bishop, uh, just someone that had that someone that's in this energy of a higher fence. They play both roles, right? They play both roles: devil's advocate and whatever goes in their favor. Someone either sold their soul to the devil, someone took some type of bribery, and now they're stuck to some type of contract, and they're trying to fulfill their end of the contract, but it's extremely difficult because they didn't realize that they were signing up for a job and did not read the fine print. Maybe there were no fine prints for them to read, but they're finding out that they should have asked more questions. They should have done some type of research on who they were being sent after. So someone is going through an ending. They didn't expect this to be happening, okay? Someone is going through a lot of sorrows behind the scenes. They may be walking around with a mask on, trying to hide their woes, their sorrows, and things of their nature. Yeah, someone is absolutely living in fear behind the scenes, not wanting people to know what's going on. Someone is going through some type of financial ending. Someone may be losing a home. Someone may be going to jail. There's something going on, but with a masculine energy and they're trying to hide it and still come across as being content, okay, and all of that, but they are not okay. Someone is crying for help. Someone is suffering in silence. Um, there could be someone that's in a relationship as well with a crazy woman and they are suffering in silence. God bless them. Let's send them a lot of positive energy so they can find their way away from that crazy person, okay? But someone is using a masculine for their money as well for a specific situation, and this masculine may know that. Um, anyways, hopefully he can find his way out. This is the God's honest truth. Someone is using a masculine for his money, and he may be in the know about it. This could be a queen of wands. Whatever it is, maybe he got with this woman because she was beautiful. Maybe he thought she was someone that was business savvy, right? No, knew about her SHIT, but found, found out that she's nothing but a couch potato. Uh, all she is is just beautiful. There's nothing going on upstairs, anything like that. Nothing going on internally either, okay? Nothing of substance for that fact, okay? So someone may be closing a chapter. I just saw the world card out here. Someone may be closing a chapter. Oh my goodness. Your enemies are living in fear. They are fighting. They took some type of risk. Now they're living in anxiety. They knew not to go forward. They, they thought that they were going to receive some type of bounty. Lord, they should have they should have a, a, a looked a little deeper into what they were doing. Someone may have collaborated with a king of cups and it didn't go in their favor. This queen of wands was the lead of this group. This is what I'm hearing. Someone said they were receiving some type of promise and offer or was getting involved in some type of solid situation. They may have accepted some type of bribery and it's not going according to plan. Someone is trying to recover. Lord have mercy. Trying to have some type of brand new passionate beginning and put an end to this old toxic, yeah, toxic chapter. Oh yeah, put an end. Yeah, they want to have a new beginning and it does not look like that's what they're going to have. Someone took a really horrible risk. It said this could have been avoided. Whatever ending this person is going through, it could have been avoided. There are lots of characters in here. I just saw the King of Cups and Queen of Wands. There are a lot of people in here working together. And they, these are people you probably would not expect to be working together. And they all have their own motives for why they are working together. It's quite interesting. Yeah, working together. I'm telling you, these people are working together, pushing forward, working over time to bring an ending to someone, but it's not going to happen. You're almost at the end of your, you're almost at your destination. You're almost at your destination. And these people are working over time to bring you an ending that's just not coming. You're going to be fulfilled. You're going to receive what's yours. You're going to be celebrating. Why they're going through endings. 
Yeah, uh, absolutely, honey. Someone is heartbroken. You're still receiving your Ace of Pentacles offer. This is what she's been trying to hold on to or to block. This is coming possibly from an institution, okay? They have been trying to block some type of message, some type of mail, some type of letter, some type of communication from an institution to you to block you from... The justice is out here. To block you from receiving your Ace of Pentacles. But you will receive this. It's yours. It's divinely meant to be yours. It's your birthright. This is something coming from the Most High. So it's divinely meant for you. This is your divine inheritance. So there's nothing they can do to block this from coming to you. And I think they know that. They know that. Some of will be in like seclusion right now. They're hiding from everyone else. Someone is going through some type of uh, sorrow, depression. Someone is not happy. It's what I just heard. They're not happy in their situation. They want out. This could be the person that's in that unhappy marriage or maybe part of this uh, a collaboration and it's not going in their favor. So they want out. They want a brand new passion in the beginning. I'm telling you. They want a new opportunity either with you to, do, to start things over. Someone is coming out of betrayal, out of being stuck. And they want to have a new start, right? They want to have a new start either with you in business, some way, somehow. You're going to be receiving some type of new either promotion, a job position, or something is coming back to you. It's like something was meant for you, but someone else took some type of action to steal it. But now it's coming back to you because this was always meant to be yours, okay? And you're being told to keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Yeah, I just saw the sun. Yeah, keep moving forward. Keep going. Some I don't know who this woman is, but the emotions, the emotions this woman is. Oh uh, Lord, the woman, the emotions she's going through are like so intense. Someone is just filled with like with pure hate, like pure hatred. They can't see clearly because they're blinded by hate. Yeah, she's blinded by hate. She can't cause any more illusions. They cannot cause any more illusions. Things are being balanced out. You are going to have a new beginning, but they're trying to make this new beginning uh, 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 difficult for you. They want to cause a lot of illusions and things of that nature, but they cannot. They want to cause a lot of illusions but they're going to have to face the facts it's like you're still going to receive what's yours whether it's a position a financial payout whatever it is a new home new car new business you're still going to receive it and they're going to have to accept the fact of the matter for what it is accept reality Like these people are being forced to see things for what they are, to, to see the truth, to see the truth, and they're burdened by that. Like they are burdened by that. Excuse me. I don't know why people. Are, mm, yeah, I'm telling you. They cannot cause illusions about this promotion anymore. Whatever you're supposed to receive, you're going to receive it. They can't cause any more illusions about it. Someone has been very determined. Someone may have paid this higher fence to help cause some type of illusion. He betrayed someone. He may have betrayed a friend, a close friend who is a magician. So someone knows. Some This is a higher fence and a magician. He has a friend who is spiritually gifted. And he's more religious. He may play on this person's mental to make them think that you are someone that's in the reverse. It's that this person either sees you as a good business partner or a wife material. And this higher fan is telling them that no, you don't want to commit to that person in any way, shape, or form. It's going to lead to financial loss. They're not balanced. They're in the reverse. This is not a good business partner. She's not focused. He's not focused. He's not a good partnership partner per uh, partner to work with you don't want any commitment with them because you're going to be experiencing some type of financial like 
some type of stagnation, right? But this person the whole time is collaborating with other people behind the scenes to cause some type of ending. Trying to smear someone's character, trying to smear some type of kiss, right? To destroy some type of court case that's going on or is going to be going on. Or to just smear someone's character overall. But the truth is going to be seen about this betrayal. Someone thinks that they are really good at deception, but it's not going to go the way they think. Someone is about to be exposed in the worst way possible. They interfere with some type of offer that was supposed to be given to someone and it's going to be exposed. They did it before. They may try to do it again and it's going to be exposed. Like someone has been found out, but they don't know that they've been found out and they're still keeping up a lie. That's embarrassing. This is one of those people you'll know that they stole from you and you they'll come help you look for what it is that they stole from you and you know the whole time that they took it and you're there watching them looking under the couch uh lifting up chairs and tables blankets and stuff to find whatever it is they know they already stole from you now, this is one of those people going through some type of ending someone is about to lose a really good friendship because they betrayed their friend they may end up going through a divorce as well it's about to be a whole lot Someone may end up telling their wife, like, I'm sorry, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I thought we were okay. I thought things were going to work out. I thought we were going to have wish fulfillment. Like, we were going to be content and solid in life now. But no, it's an ending. It's an ending. It's an ending. There is an institution that's involved here as well. The head of that institution or the higher ups of that institution are deciding to do the right thing and it may be pissing someone off. It's like, no. It's like, you may be, some of you may be in some type of, uh, it's not a competition, but you're supposed to be replacing either someone in an institution and they don't want you to have that opportunity. So they're doing things to prevent you from having that opportunity. So they've been doing things behind the scenes and it may be something that's been brought to the awareness of this institution and that's going to be the automatic reason why they let this person go. She may have, she or he may have caused a lot of loss for this institution, whatever it is, but there's going to be some type of big reveal about a uh, is of pentacles. It's going to be the, oh, so that's why you had all uh, doing all of that. So that's why you said this. That's why you did that. Okay. Yeah. Someone is burdened. Burdened. It's like, no. I'm supposed to be the one having this wish fulfillment. I'm supposed to be the one having this ace of pentacles. Someone is losing their mind because you're receiving what's yours. It's crazy. They're, it's a why are you this committed? Oh my gosh. Whoever this person has been betraying knows. It's someone gifted. This, this magician knows what this higher thing is doing. There's some type of just huge review that's going on is, or is about to go on. And it be it may be causing like a fight behind the scenes. You all may not be aware of it, but there's some type of chaos going on behind the scenes. Someone wants to know how much do you know? It also may be something where there's a big shock going on that you know what has been going on. And someone may want to come and ask you like, how much do you, what all do you know about the situation? Like they want to pick your brain. They may not ask you that question directly, but they're going to ask you questions in a way where you won't know they're asking about the situation so they can find out what exactly you know. But that's not going to work. It's that like you're going to be looking at someone like, are, really, are we still doing this? Like you're still acting like I don't know you, it's you? Are we still doing this? Like how long do you intend to keep up this facade because at, at this point a lot of you know who's been behind the trickery and you're just letting them keep sacrificing themselves and digging that hole for themselves 
And you can see that they know that you know. Like, you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know. Right? What's going on? So right now, you're just letting your enemies dig a hole for themselves. Basically. So they're going to keep doing... I'm telling you, they're going to keep doing whatever it is, taking action. They're going to keep doing whatever they've been doing. And it's just stealing their faith even more and more. Even more and more. And they're going to be disappointed at the end. Disappointed at the end. Someone is walking around with a mask. They know. Someone may be upset that... Someone may even be upset that you know what's going on and you know who's been behind the whole trickery. How they accept their money to do this to you. How they've been orchestrating all of this madness behind the scenes. Right? Yeah. So they know that you know. You may have said something or hinted that you knew. And now someone is burdened. But they're going to keep acting like they don't... That they're not bothered. That they don't have anything going on behind the scenes. They're going to keep trying to end you. Because what? Someone signed a contract. Or someone made a promise. Someone accepted some type of money to end you. But they can't. But they have to stay committed. So it's like... What, is it going in a loop? There's no end? It's like being on a, on a Ferris wheel. You're not really going anywhere. You're just going in circles. You're tiring yourself out. Someone is going to get tired to the point where they'll just be like, I give up. I can't anymore. Like, I can't destroy this person. I've tried my best. I've tried everything. And I can't destroy them. Some of you, these people have hired people from overseas. They've hired people in your neighborhood. They've hired people all over. Magicians, practitioners, all kinds of people to take you down. And they haven't been able to. But they made an agreement with someone behind the scenes to take you down, to destroy you, so you don't come into... A, a, a contact, a connection with what belongs to you. They've been very much committed. Two. At this point, everyone knows things are going to be balanced out. Things are going to be balanced out. Yeah, victory. This is your karma, your good karma. And your enemies are fighting. I just saw this. I'm so sorry. I just saw, yeah, fighting. You're going to be victorious. You're going to receive what's yours. This decision has been made. You stood your ground. You're going to be receiving fulfillment. Your enemies are living in fear. You're protecting yourself, keeping your distance. They, they don't even know what the heck to do. People are having anxiety. There's a king of pentacles involved in here. Fighting with these people... Because they may be caused some type of illusion and now he bonded himself. But this is someone who's a narcissist and very superficial, right? He cares about the final things in life and this is why. Someone was content in life before. They had everything they needed. But they may have received some type of prize. There was a prize tag that he could not refuse to take. He should have moved on when within about the situation. But he accepted the offer. Now he's overworking himself trying to pass up as your twin flame. Not happening, you have walked away. But this person is determined to manipulate you into having some type of family with them. This is a plan. You have a ten of pentacles coming in. This is a positive news. Possibly from someone who's a king of swords. Lord Jesus, there's a lot of trickery. Your enemy was, enemies were laughing before when they were juggling you. They thought they had made the right decision to block your forward movement. But you're still moving forward. You're still abundant. New beginning. Will moving in your for in your future, you are a privileged gentleman, privileged lady, abundance. This is not your path. This is your enemies. They've trapped themselves. They were trying to bring an end to this for you. They thought they could trap you in something, but they cannot. You're meant to prosper in life, be successful. You have foresight. You've been waiting. But divine timing for things to go in your favor and now it's time for you to take action because your ancestors have stepped in you are divinely guided the universe is on your side you are someone nurturing kind pure-hearted 
someone from your parents may want to connect with you they have to sit their behinds down this chapter is over all of the secrets ulterior motives are being exposed you went through some type of dark night of the soul to learn how to see things from a higher perspective right you're someone that's very wise very wise yeah you're moving forward victory is yours because of your knowledge and how you handle things you handle things very maturely people don't know what you know but you know the truth and they want to know what you know right you knew to remove yourself from this situation from around this group of people and you did just the right thing just in the nick of time you took action to move on you're the queen of swords you have your swords pulled out you're telling the truth living in your truth standing up for the truth right not taking any bs from anyone someone may be afraid to come towards you because you're in this energy this is you calm collect taking action in your life to get what's yours right you're taking charge of your life you may have some type of contract with a emperor that's watching you but i don't think this person is someone you want to partner up with because they could have participated in something they should not have they're watching you i told you yeah you don't want to partner up with this person they celebrated a little too early and you're down for you're still receiving what's yours you're getting your good news someone wants to come in and gas like you what a mess what a mess gas like you with a solid offer that's not really solid Someone should have given you something a long time ago, but they were holding on to it. What a mess. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, judgment is in your favor. You're receiving what's yours. It is in your favor. It has been divinely called out, decided. This new path, this new journey, this new opportunity, whatever it is, is going in your favor. It is yours. And your enemies can be in the wall energy as long as they want, but your Ten of Pentacles is still yours. I just saw that at the bottom of the deck. These are all people from a lot of you's past. Friends, families. People you don't even assume. Yeah, honey. People you don't even assume will be part of this nonsense. People you don't assume will be part of this nonsense. It's crazy. These people are doing all of this just for money wealth that's all to hold on to some type of lifestyle that is not theirs to hold to keep someone does not like to work but they like to live the good life so they want to keep holding on to something that does not belong to them someone also knows that if you step into either a company some type of position whatever it is you're going to be bringing change into that company and that's what they don't want because they won't get to steal anymore. They won't get to live that lavish life that they don't deserve anymore because they haven't really worked for it. Someone steals a lot behind the scenes. Someone is very corrupt. And this is why they're doing everything in their power to block you from coming into what belongs, block you from coming into connection with what belongs to you. This is all about money, living the good life. And they're not going to be receiving or keeping what belongs to you okay and this is judgment has been called your ancestors don't have time to play with these people i'm telling you you're receiving what's yours the decision has been made and someone is burdened by that you are going to be someone of high value. Someone is afraid that you're going to have influence on the world. And you will have just that. You're going to have just that. 
There's nothing they can do to block it. Absolutely nothing they can do to block it. It's like they, yeah, it's like they've been doing everything to just hinder your move, your forward movement, and everything they've been doing has been ensuring an ending for them and their minions, partners in crimes. Yeah, abuse of power, abuse of authority. Someone may have a family member that works in law enforcement. They got them involved. They're all going down. They're all going down. They were trying to manipulate something in the court system, but they cannot. They're going through endings. Things are not going in their favor. A queen of cups expected things to go in her favor, but it's not. A decision has been made to return to you what belongs to you. And she's having burdens. She's having nightmares about this. She knows the end is near for her or is here. Yeah, she does not like the fact that you receive some type of good news or you're going to be receiving good news about your twin flame or partnering up with someone that's going to help you manifest some type of new reality. You're going to be receiving some type of inspiring news, right? Things are being looked over so that corrections can be made. Balance is being brought into the situation. Balance is being brought into this situation. You are being seen as someone genuine. There could be something in here about a child. Someone may have manipulated a masculine for some of you to make him believe that a child was his. It's not his. He needs to take that child to get them tested for DNA. If he chooses to stay in that child's life, then that's his choice. But there's a child with a masculine that's not his. Okay? This woman is living in fear because what's yours is being protected from her. It's not going to be given to her. The decision has been made to give you what's yours. Either a leader of an organization, someone has decided to right the wrong. All right? The authorities are deciding that you are going to have wish fulfillment. Your pathway is clear. You are the truth. They know you are genuine, that you are the one, whatever this is, belongs to. So they are removing all obstacles out of your way, okay? This queen of wands, this is you showing up in your battle queen energy. You took action just in the nick of time to move on. There could be a queen of wands in here as well that has some type of legal issues coming in for her because she took some type of action as well against you to steal what was your... This was a whole collaboration, by the way. And a lot of these people have legal issues coming in for them while you're stealing onto karma waters with your victory. They're not happy because they're not receiving what's yours. That's why this woman is burdened. She's not receiving what's yours. She's going to have to take, a time, take time and sit out time out or something, contemplate on why she did not receive what's yours. Obviously, it's not yours. You're not going to receive what belongs to someone else. Or if you even get it, you can't keep it. That's how the universe works. They'll let you enjoy something and let you get comfortable with it. And then they'll come and yank it out of your hand and say, hey, hold on. You thought we forgot, did you? You forgot? It's not yours? You're not that person? Did you forget that? Yeah, we thought so. Someone from your past is absolutely involved in this situation, may have trapped themselves in some type of karmic collaboration, fighting with these people because he's lost or she lost his or hers true blessings, which was you, okay? Again, you're the queen of swords. You have your sword pulled out at these people, right? You are being very strategic on how you're moving forward in life, and this is what you're being guided to do. Plan and stick to the plan. Take that risk. Move forward in life. There's some type of action you're supposed to take and your ancestors in the universe are guiding you to be bold. Step out on faith. Take that calculated risk. All right? Trust the universe to guide you. Right? Be optimistic. Keep your mind on positive thoughts. The wheel of fortune is absolutely moving in your favor, as you can see. You may be getting married to a king, king of pentacles, but this could really just be you about to reap your harvest. Celebrating in business, uh, in a career, whatever it is. You may be partnering up with a king of pentacles, which is going to lead to victory. Someone sees you as very modest and brave, right? They know you've been going through a lot, but you've been hiding it, not letting your emotions show. 
There could be someone from your past as well that's going through some type of ending. This is someone pretending that they don't have any emotions for you, but they have quite a lot of emotions for you. Like someone has an abundance of, of emotions for you, but they're doing their best to hide it, but they're not doing a really good job at hiding it. They're watching you, keeping track of you, wanting to know if you're in a family. They may want to have a family with you, but this is a narcissist. You have absolutely no business getting back with this type of person. There's a family dynamic that they were working with. They are very much narcissists as well. They feel entitled to taking what belongs to you or blocking your forward movement. This is what they've been working hard to do. It's to block some type of financial offer or gift from coming to you, but it's still coming. <laughs> Absolutely still coming. Success is your future, is your portion. Okay? You already know what's coming towards you. You're just waiting. <laughs> That is hilarious. And as soon as you get it, you're moving on to karma waters. You're not living in fear. This is what your enemies wanted you to do. They think that they are keeping secrets and you don't know, but you are you already know what's going on. It's just in a nick of time, in a matter of time, that you're going to be ending this chapter. And this is through divine guidance. You might be partnering up with a higher level soulmate that will be working with you. This could be someone that's a law enforcement officer. This could be someone that's in the justice system. This could just be someone that's, you know, balanced, wants to work with you, sees you for who you are. You're showing up in the star energy, right? You and this person will be growing together, right? You could be receiving some type of message about your abundance. And it has to do with work. There could be some type of position. You may have perfected some type of craft that you really cherish, you took time to learn. This is leading to some type of new beginning for you. Lord, this devilish car, it always, always triggers me when I see him. Like, what the heck are you doing here? But there was an offer to, there was an effort to present you with some type of offer to trap you, but you knew exactly what was going on. And you said, oh no, I got to remove myself from this situation and move on with my life and trust that the universe is going to give me what i need give me a brand new opportunity give me something better and that's what you're doing so you trusted the universe and you walked away and found fulfillment in life you went for it took action right you took action just like they told you to do they told you hey get out and you did just that you got out okay now you're celebrating or you're about to celebrate because you're advocating for yourself. Someone may be advocating for you behind the scenes. But first, you initiated that change by taking action on your own behalf and advocating for yourself by taking yourself away from this situation. Someone has been guided to go within. They're seeing the truth. They're sticking to the truth. They're tuning out the world. They may be coming in to give you some type of commitment. Be absolutely cautious. This could be someone that's trying to gaslight you and play with your emotions because they know you are extremely abundant, gifted, a, a innovative person. So you may be more beneficial to this person than they are to you, but how you move forward with this person is going to be your choice, okay? Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source we should be listening for today what is sources advice to us well, this queen of pentacles has been very very determined to keep <laughs> keep something that does not belong to her she said no i have to keep this my life is too good for me to be falling from grace i've been living this good life for so long that it's not mine that i did not get justly i've been doing a lot of trickery and stuff like that behind the scenes if I step down now, the people are going to find out that I'm not genuine, that I'm not true. But it's like the people already know you're not any of those things. So can you make this make sense for us? Anyways, source, thank you for your time. What is your advice for us? What? Okay. Source is like, yeah, you don't have to ask. I'll tell you, this is my advice. Uh, five, flexibility is your fort. When life throws you a curveball, mm, I don't know how that just came out, but let's go ahead and start over. Five, <laughs> flexibility is your fort. 
When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable. We have three, one, one, one. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe and life you love. I am creative. I like how both are using the words endeavors, right? 27, nine, your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. I am expressive, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now, Starseeds.